hi guys my name is Harun in this tutorial we are gonna see how to export uh, uh, Unreal scene as a FBX uh, many people ask uh, you know how to export the old scene as a FBX before um, I made a tutorial in which uh, we can export uh, uh, the, the static mesh or what say the actor as a FBX from Unreal so so after that people uh, started asking how to export the scene so basically uh, in unity unity works with fbx if you go to the content folder but as you know if you um, what say if you check uh, with unreal uh, uh, geometries how it's stored in their folder let's say if you open show in explorer you will see uh, just say wait you will see you can see here it's a unreal asset files dot u asset files you won't get the fbx right so you will be wondering how to export fbx uh, that video uh, i kept in the description you can check the how we can export fbx in this video we're going to see how to export the scene all right so i have a uh, uh, you know demo scene here with third person uh, you know uh, project uh, scene so what i'm gonna uh, do is uh, I, I just want to export the entire scene to sfbx so that i can use any uh, you know 3d modeling software like a max maya or whatever so uh, what i'm gonna do i just have to select all the meshes which i want to export in sfbx so i'm just selecting uh, selecting all here or even you can select uh, all the static mesh in uh, world outliner okay let me select uh, q mesh what else if you want the character you can do that and i also i'm just showing the uh, the scene so i think i think i select all i think i select all the um, you know um, the scene meshes now what are you gonna do just uh, uh, just right click here and you can say not here in the scene you can say um, what is that uh, convert actors to static mesh so this is the option you have to do convert actors so what all you selected it will convert to as a single static mesh if you do that it will ask you where uh, uh it's need to be stored like the location of that static mesh now it's uh it's already selected uh, this meshes folder so i just select okay so here you can see uh the the static mesh um so so this is that static mesh okay everything is here all the uh what say the shaders and everything is um everything you can see in the right side so this is became like a one static mesh now everything will be simple now we have the static mesh now the step will be as like the previous tutorial you just right click and uh, you can say asset actions under there you can see export so it will export as the fbx file so uh, let's uh, save in a desktop only so that uh, you know easy to uh, now you can select as as like before you can select which version of fbx and all this uh, you know collision you want or you know you need anything animation whatever and just export it so that's it now you have uh, uh, your fbx ready you have seen fbx go to desktop Ooh, i have many stuff what is that oh here it is it's named named like a static mesh okay just uh, double click that one just for see the 3d viewer so so now you can see oh, let me uh, right well now you can see all the meshes here or you can even open your maya or 3dx max blender which software you are familiar with you are using you can open this fbx there and uh, this one will uh, will really help to create something in the scene and you know you want to um, edit the scene in uh, Maya or uh, uh, 3dx max and you arrange something in unreal and you want that positions so in that case it will be really helpful so you just have to select uh, which portion of your scene you want to uh, send to 3dx max or Maya or whatever and you just uh, make a static mesh and export it 
so that's it guys i think uh, you guys uh, understand understood something uh, simple or great or you feel it's a better tutorial or it helped you guys then uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe this channel and support me and uh, see you next tutorial see you guys bye